I'm here with Luke Seib. Luke, what were your goals today and how close do you feel like you came to reaching those goals? Uh, basically, my goal was just to come out here and compete with the other guys. I know there's a lot of talent out here and I just wanted to show that I could compete with them. And I, I think I showed that, but I also could have done a better job, but I'm, I'm fine with my performance. Your dad says you catch everything thrown at you. It certainly seemed that way today. What impressed you most about your catching ability? Um, you know, that's what I've been working on since a kid is just catching the ball, looking the ball in and trying to score. And I think I showed that today. We talked a little bit earlier about your development as as a, a person, um, as an athlete. 26 pounds you, you gained in the, in the past year. Yeah, in what, the past like six months. In yeah. the past six months. What was the secret to that? Um, just eating, really. Like during quarantine, I just kept eating and worked out with my dad every day. It helped me a lot because he's bigger than me still. and. So it's good to work out with someone bigger than you who can lift as much as you and push you, and that really helped me. Can I ask you what's your bench and your squat right now? Uh, my bench is uh, 225, 215, around there. I've hit 225 once. My dad, um, he helped me a lot during quarantine with that. What about diet? What are you eating these days? Uh, just everything. Everything they throw my way, I'm eating. <laughs> And uh, in terms of 40 time, body weight, whatever, uh, where do you feel like you want to most improve here in the next year? Um, I was I was really disappointed in my broad jump at the last combine, but I'd, I'd like to improve that, uh, my vertical, and then I think I can get faster on my 40. I had a good 40. I was surprised with it, but I want to get faster. Yeah, this is kind of father and son day here with you and, yeah. and, and Brad and Sterling and Kevin. Given your dad's success at Kansas State, maybe – how much added pressure is there to achieve your goals of playing at the next level? Honestly, especially with my parents, they don't really put any pressure on me. It's just like it's just up to me, really. I mean, I want to play. They want me to play, but it's just up to me. When it comes down to it, what, what are you going to be looking for in the school? Just really whoever wants me to play as much as I want to play with them, play for them. Now you have a hidden town, talent that we talked about, long, long snapping. Yeah. How did that begin? Um, it was my freshman year, and they were just looking for a long snapper on varsity, and I was just like, I want to play. So I just went out there and started long snapping, and it kind of came natural. It wasn't that bad. What is the skill that goes into that? How do you become an effective long snapper? Just really just working on timing, spinning the ball, getting it back there as quick as possible. Uh, how much pride do you take in special teams? Um, last year, I loved special teams just because I got out on the field, got to play. So it was really fun. I'm sure I'll play again this year, too. What are your thoughts in the season ahead of you? I know there's some uncertainty with, with, with COVID, but uh, given if you're able to play, what are the goals for you next year? Uh, my goal is just to go out there and show all the scouts that I can play at the next level.